All right, title, what's up? We got our board briefing January 10th, and that's Tuesday. Workout's called push pull. How are we gonna get there? Warm up, three sets, 12 minutes. Specific warm up. We got three things to go over. Review the handstand, or sorry, review the handstand walking, review deficit handstand push ups, review the power clean. Okay? We're gonna review the handstand walk first. Don't fret, there's lots of scaling options if we need them. Okay? And then we have pre wad skill work and that is going to be six rounds a minute on minute rest of handstand walking for distance now if we're not handstand walking good scaling option the wall walk if we're not walking all the way up in the wall walk partial wall walks all right how many can you do in a minute minute rest repeat process um reviewing the deficit handstand push-ups we got six progressions all the way to we get to two inches and four inches respectively, and that's the RX uh, deficit for the workout, okay? Then we're gonna be review the power clean, we've got four progressions, and then have you a chance to load up the barbell, get to your working weight. We should be able to do three sets of three touch and go, unbroken reps every time we pick up the bar, every time we're successful doing three, add a little bit of weight till you get to the weight for your workout. Challenge yourself. Today's loading is light to moderate, so I would say like you should have the capacity to have 135 or 95 on that bar and be able to do 10 touch and go reps without too much effort. Okay, that's the kind of capacity we're looking for for the workout. Do I have to do touch and go reps for the workout? No, but it's gonna make your workout go faster for sure. Um, can I do singles? Absolutely. Can I do singles on the handstand push, deficit handstand pushups? Yes, but you should have the capacity to do five plus reps uh, during a warm up. All right, if you don't have that capacity, um, you should think about scaling. If you continue to uh, do the workout like that, that's fine, um, but we're looking for seven plus rounds here. We're also looking for some, to build some volume under that uh, deficit handset push -up. Okay, push pull, AMRAP 10. One power clean, 95, 135, one deficit handstand push up two inches and four inches respectively, that's RX. Next round is two and two, three and three, four and four, five and five, all the way to infinity or the 10 minutes is up, okay? Level two, 65 and 95 for the weight and strict movement, pike push-ups, still with a deficit though, 1.5 and three inches. Now, how are we gonna get these things? We'll have some a tape measure, we can measure out some plates um, before your class and all that stuff and go from there level one 35 and 45 on the power cleans just remember empty bars please don't drop them on the floor and then dumbbell shoulder press at 10 and 15 pounds you can do that seated you can do it standing you can seat sit on a box if 10 and 15 is too light grab something heavier if it's too heavy grab something a little bit lighter okay good posture good posture um as far as the workout goes, I mentioned it's seven plus rounds is what we're looking for. The other thing we're looking for is to be have that capacity to do about 10 power cleans on broken touch and go and do five deficit handstand push-ups. Kipping is, is allowed, but you should, you should have that capacity to do at least five reps from that deficit or the deficit you're gonna do for the workout. Now, as far as just scaling right to handstand push-ups, kipping, we're not, we're sort of steering clear of that. We want to work on the deficit part and the strict movement to build strength so you become better at kipping handstand pushups. So I would say after deficit handstand pushups, if we can't do it at two or four inches, maybe lower the deficit a little bit, okay? After that, go to strict pipe pushups. The higher we get our hips in the air and the more inverted we are, the harder that's gonna be, okay? And then after that's gonna, be combined with the handstand walking and the wall walks, your shoulders, triceps, all that stuff is gonna be fatigued and that's what we're looking for to build that muscular endurance through those muscles. All right, let's have some fun, let's go hard, let's be good and crisp on the reps, we all know the open's coming, let's meet all the standards, all that stuff. All right guys, we'll see you tomorrow, have some fun with push-pull.